Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Ursula's Journey. I hope that you all are doing amazing on this morning. Had a wonderful evening, rested well last night, and rising arose with the leap of your spirit. I said rising arose because it is about 6.50 a.m. Central Standard Time here, so I rose this morning with that my leap of my spirit, and you may just be rising. So thank you all so much for coming in. For those that are returning, thank you as well. And if you're new, thank you, thank you so much for just coming in to take time to view my actual video log, blog on my journey this morning to work. For those that follow me, you know my little ride is a little bit in the morning, so I love to do vlogging on my journey where you all can just come in with me where I share a word of inspiration, a word of encouragement and hope because we all must understand someone out there, you know, one too many just didn't rise that morning or rested well that morning with something that was settling or allowed their spirit to be at peace. And I am one of those last night, I rested, but then something hit me and whew, I woke up really hard because of, um, if you follow me on my Facebook and all of that, we just have someone that's close in our church family that has been abducted. So we're, it's hard, you know, to think about a beautiful family. And I can share this because they're asking people to share all over social media, but this is not what my talk is about anyway. But it was hard last night and something just woke me up all of a sudden. She was on my mind. So I pray, Lord, I pray, pray that all is well. It's just making me sick. So I can only imagine her beautiful parents that I know well. It's just devastating, devastating. But that's why we have to stay in prayer for one another and continue to be there for one another, encourage one another. And I apologize for this sun here, the way it's doing, but hopefully it'll move over, shift a little bit soon. But anyway, this morning I just wanted to leave a small word of encouragement this morning because as I mentioned you know many people are out there encountering things going through things just having things face them or things were amazing going well and all of a sudden something can come in and throw you in a valley to where you just can feel hopeless where you can just feel just that there's no reason there's no need I can't be I can't become and I just want to encourage you to just remember that first of all you're not alone that's why I come in and I try to add on my platform with my actual YouTube family and listeners and people out there that you're not alone we have to do that sometimes let people know that they're not alone because we all have a day that's maybe coming or have days or something is going to hit us and it's not going to be a good gut feeling or we may have those situations that are not tasteful to us or something just come in our lives and knock the breath out of us and that's life is the journey that we're on and I tell people you know all of my actual social media platforms don't have journey in it and with Ursula's journey I'm telling you don't allow don't think, I'm sorry, what you see may be like, wow, always great for her. No, I have moments. I have things in my life. Yes, I'm human. My journey is real as well, but the beauty is that I have been placed in situations to where, <laughs> you know, I know God, okay? I know him, but I have been placed in situations to where it's like, whew, thank you. I'm glad that I do know him. But I just want to give you a sense of something this morning to let you know that even if you don't feel okay, even if you have some things going on with you in the mind, body, soul, and the spirit, I always tell people it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to say I'm not okay. But what I want people to understand is that I don't want you all to feel we have to sit in that the whole time. We don't have to be that way all the time. That's why I always say it's so important to pick your community, pick your group, 
pick the things um, that make you happy. Find the places that give you the serenity, the peace. Be in that circle of individuals where what comes out of them is something that can give you the comfort and peace that you need because we know we don't want to be in a place where there's so much going on the negativity the discouragement oh things that are hatred oh no unity no love no hope no peace we don't want to be in an atmosphere like that all the time where that's coming at us and what is that going to do it's a damper, as we may say, on our parade, on our spirit. But that gets in your spirit. So this morning, I just want to encourage you to keep going. Keep moving. You know, sometimes people get to a place where the finances are not good. As I mentioned many times, the children are hacking up. You know, you make your husband, your spouses, your wives, things going on in life that's a part of life. But it takes a toll on us. But I want you to understand that we have to keep going. We have to keep going. You have to actually speak over whatever that thing is. Speak over it. Cast it out. Tell it to get away. See, I tell people sometimes as individuals, we can invite things in. We can invite things in the mind, body, soul, and the spirit. And I talk about that a lot when I'm coaching and doing things. We can invite things in. That's why I mentioned about be aware, be very particular about everything that you allow to come into your spirit. And most importantly, that could be people, right? That could be people. You have to surround yourself with someone. And that's what I love about the social media platform. You may not have anyone personally, but you can connect this way. You can reach out to me. I have a actual, you can put something in the comment that you'd like to reach out to me or, you know, my actual email account. You can go to that, send me a message. I just want a person to understand that they're not alone and that you can overcome all things. I'm here to tell you because I've been in places, been around situations been going through things going through things now hey we all do that's life that's a journey life is a journey but I'm here to tell you you can speak over it and tell it to move away or say no longer will I engage in this no longer will I allow this to come into my spirit push away from it that's what we have to do you all so that's just a small word I want to share this morning because you are a twinkle in God's eye are an amazing person you're a beautiful person and you have no need to be sitting in something that is distasteful to you or not good for you so once again thank you all so much for coming in i'm looking at everything with my channel building it and it's moving and i thank god for that because i am passionate about what i do everything that I connect with with my YouTube channel my social media platforms I have a private Facebook community called Life's Journey with Ursula I have a radio show um, Be Inspired with Ursula which we're going to have all of those same atmospheres spirits are going to be there so whatever platform or social media network that you connect with me on you're going to get this you're going to get this yes and more so you all just go out there and have the most amazing, amazing Thursday. You all be blessed, be safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Click that notification bell so you can know when I'm coming in with new videos. You all be safe now. Love you.